Now that we've installed Get Simple, it's time to start creating themes. Let's go over to Themes in Get Simple, and you'll see that we have two themes currently installed. The current theme that I'm on is Innovation. If I test my website, this is what it looks like with Innovation. I can switch that over to Cardinal by activating that theme, and you'll see that the th thumbnail is now available, or the screenshot of it and I can go back and refresh my site and you'll see that I'm now using that new theme. In order to create a theme we want to go take a look at theme creation under the Get Simple uh, wiki. Now <clears throat> what you have to learn are the template tags and then also how themes work. If you look into it you'll notice that actually I guess it says right here template.php is the default template file and that really is the only file that is absolutely required for you to have in this website just one file now in order for that file to work it needs to have certain tags that are in there and so we go to the template tags wiki <coughs> and you'll see here's one very important tag which is php get content now you'll notice it says PHP and that means that the template tag or the template page has to be a PHP file that's template.php and then there's some other ones of course down the rest of the page and we're going to use this next one which is the navigation here in a minute let's go up to the top and I'm going to copy this tag right here this PHP get page content and now I'm going to go to Get Simple, the in installation that I have. And you'll see there's a folder called Theme, and that's where we want to go into. To create a new theme, we create a new folder in this um, location. So I'm going to create a Simple Test folder. Maybe I'll just call it Simple Test. And inside there, I need to create a file. So I'm going to do a new file, and this will be the template dot php file now currently this file has nothing in it so we're gonna go inside and I'm just going to paste that one little bit of content I mean that is the simplest simplest thing now I'm gonna go back over to, to um, get simple click on theme again because I need to click on it to refresh it so that it finds that folder called simple test now I can activate the theme. Now there's no screenshot available and we'll show you later how that um, becomes available. But now if I go to my website and test it, you'll see that I'm getting the absolute basic output. Let's right click and view our source and you'll see that all I'm getting is the output of whatever is in the content for the current page. Now this does not make a fully functional content management system. To make it a fully functional content management system, we also have to link to pages dynamically. So we'll find that in the get navigation tag. So I'm going to take out that or copy that um, tag, go to my PHP file, and I'm going to paste this before the content. Now I can hit save. I'm going to go back and refresh my page and you'll see I now have the um, navigation at the top. If I go and refresh the source you'll see that it outputs the code here at the top. Now if you know anything about um, HTML code, which I hope you do, or markup, you'll notice that this is a list and it says list class equals current, list class page 2, list class another page. So it tells me what is the current page which is home currently and you'll also notice that list items are typically going to be part of some sort of unordered or ordered list so we need to add that code to this we need to add our ul before and then our ul afterwards so in order to learn what code you have to add you need to be aware of what code it's generating and so that's why I wanted to show this short little demo was just to say that when you have a question about what a tag means what you want to do is put that tag or what it will output go ahead and put the tag into a very simple template and just test it you can refresh the page and you can see what code it's outputting and that's a very successful way of doing it
Now, this is not a very good template currently. It's not a very full featured template. So I might want to add a little bit more to it. I'm going to drag in my first template, which is called Super Simple. And inside here, I have the same file that I just created with just the basics in there. I have first the page um, navigation, and the second thing is the content. In order to make this the active theme, I'll go back to themes, select the super simple, and activate that theme. And now you'll see when I go back and look at the page, I actually have pretty much the same thing, except for this time I've added a little bit of code at the top. Um, and I've also added an ID for the menu and an ID for the content. And these are things that we might do um, in order to style these later with CSS. Now that's a very, very simple theme. And it's a great way to get started on learning how to create themes is just taking these template tags once again and copy and pasting them into your, um, your a simple template.php document just to see what they output. Once again, you can choose any of these just to see what happens when you take it out and copy it in um, and then check your code. Let's go on to the next um, set of tutorials or the next set of templates that I have where we'll just take a look at the code and what it outputs.